Welcome back to Game Room Theater, everyone. I've got a lot of updates to share with you since the last time I did a walkthrough of my game room. And we are now in December of 2021. Uh, I have done a lot of updates since the past summer and I've done a lot of do-it-yourself type of automation and tech upgrades that I will be sharing with you and I'll be doing a full and complete walkthrough of the entire man cave so uh, guys uh, please stay tuned till the end at the very end of the video I'm gonna talk about some very exciting updates I am planning for the theater room so let me go ahead and start upstairs in my office which also doubles as a gaming room. So let me head on up there. Okay guys, step into my office, which also doubles as a gaming rig. Uh, so first off, I've got a pre-built here. The reason why I've got a pre-built is because of this graphics card. This is the RTX 3070. These kinds of graphics cards are extremely difficult to price and find at MSRP. You, you know, people have constantly price gouged at the time of the shooting of this video. So one of the one of the more cost effective ways to get it is when a racing what a gaming PC, if you will, is on sale and hence that's why I've got it. I've got some big plans for this. I've got some some uh, uh, liquid cooling that I'm planning and a few other things. Not uh, the point of this video, but uh, I will share some additional information there. This gorgeous screen that you see here, guys, is the Odyssey G9 uh, from Samsung. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, you know, 5K, 120 frames per second, um, curved all around, just, just beautiful. Uh, by the way, guys, the graphics are completely maxed out and everything's in like basically ultra settings, but this thing does not bat an eye. It is just stunning uh, in terms of clarity, in terms of frame rate, all of that. I'm really, really enjoying it. All right, so before we head back downstairs, I do have some big plans for 2022. Uh, it's the whole point of this video as well. You know, I just want to share with you guys uh, what I plan on doing in terms of upgrades to my man cave, game room, uh, office, all of that. So this dedicated screen will likely end up on a racing rig that I am currently sourcing parts for. I may just end up using this PC or or basically build a fresh one if I can secure the the, the components in a, in a competitive price anyway. So let's go ahead and head downstairs. Um, before we even arrive downstairs, let me tell you about this thing. This thing is from uh, Devoom and you can control it with your phone. You can put whatever logos you want. You know, normally if I'm watching a game, I do theme things out and uh, it, looks, it looks pretty awesome. So I'll have a link in the description for that as well. Okay, so now let me focus on this unnecessary screen here. I say unnecessary because why, why is this here? Normally it's running uh, personal photos, almost like an album. And other times also, like basically when we're watching a movie downstairs or the kids are watching it or we've got guests over that are watching a movie, it'll actually display uh, what is playing in the theater room. It's all completely automated and then it also shows the runtime, how much of the movie's left. So beyond that, let me zoom into this thing here. This is just, I thought it was kind of cool, nice touch. I actually disabled it um, because everything's on smart switches but uh, um, it, it actually is a really nice feeling kind of touching this. It feels like a, an arcade game. So now, you know, opening up to go downstairs into the game room itself, it's like entering in another world. So this thing is a nice little sign I got from a local seller and didn't cost a whole lot of money. It runs on D size uh, cells or batteries. And I've never had to change it in the last three years. It, it, when you turn it on, it automatically turns off after about uh, four hours or so. So let me start in the corner first. Um, one of the big updates, guys, has been my pinball machine, which I have heavily, heavily modified. It's, I'm running a subwoofer in it. I've got several other cabinets running on it as well. Um, I've taken out the back glass and actually put a screen I updated up, I upgraded my that 49 inch uh, Samsung that you saw upstairs and I gave my previous Samsung curved 27 inch monitors to my kids 
and my son was using this screen and I, I, I brought it down and I actually measured it and I'm like, holy smokes, this, this screen fits perfectly here. I'm just gonna use it as a back glass and uh, hence that's how it uh, turned up. These lights, by the way, are the cheaper version of the Nano Leaf. They're, they're a pre-release. I think they should be released at the time of this video. It's from Yi Light. Um, I'll have a link to, to them in the description as well. It's, uh, like I said, it's a much cheaper version of the Nano Leaf. Mimics pretty much everything that the Nano Leaf does. And uh, I'm really, really happy with it. And this uh, lightsaber sword or lamp uh, worked out really well themed against this here. You know, my, my uh, pinball machine itself. Uh, I really really like the look of this didn't cost a whole lot I'll try and find a link and have this in the description of the video as well and as you guys recall You know the screens that I've had previously that I've done multiple videos on uh, You know be sure to check those videos out on how I automate and control and uh, And utilize these screens to, to theme out the place basically um, one of the more recent updates earlier this year was uh, this OutRun cabinet. I really, really enjoyed this as a kid and um, having this now has just completed me. <laughs> as funny as that sounds, uh, I really, really enjoy playing this, especially with the sound up. It takes me way, way back. Um, so if you guys recall from previous videos, we got a pretty decent uh, a poker table, you know, when guys come over, uh, my parents come over, you know, chess, uh, board games. I, personally, I don't even know how to play poker. I just like entertaining. I like my buddies and family coming over and playing. I like hosting and uh, uh, ends up being pretty fun. So I did up to upgrade the foosball table from previous videos that you would have seen. This is much more heavy duty. Uh, I won't go into detail and specifics on this thing as uh, these things are, uh, are fairly common but it's, it's more regulation size, it's a lot more fun. Um, this pin, pinball machine, I'm not gonna butcher the name uh, by trying to say it. It's basically from a Japanese casino from about 15 or 20 years ago. You can usually find them fairly cheap. A lot of fun to play. This one's converted to play with tokens, but you can convert them to, to quarters if you wish. But, uh, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not encouraging gambling to my kids who are constantly on this, or my mother when she comes over, she's playing it quite often. Uh, I did do a video on the holographic fan. This thing's Wi-Fi connected. I control it from my phone. I push images to it. I use it to theme out the place quite often. So you guys would probably uh, uh, recall if, you, if you've been a long time follower. I did do a video on this maybe about a year and a half ago. Uh, so my TV upstairs was upgraded to an 86 inch. So the 75 inch made it down here. This guys, let me zoom out a bit before I go too much further. This is the um, casual socializing area. Uh, not ideal, you know, I often get comments on what the heck's going on? Why, why do you have these four seats facing the wall and nothing? Um, so really my thought here was to reuse the theater seating that I already had and uh, instead of selling them, um, I made him work here. I was gonna put a long sectional, but you know, this is very comfortable. This is the lounge area. This is to socialize, you know, people sitting here facing each other. Usually I have like a forget, quote unquote, forgettable game playing here. What I mean by forgettable is non-playoff. Like nobody really cares, like, you know, vested completely into it where they need to watch it. Cause that's where, if that's the case, then you watch it in the theater room. Long story short, socializing, listening to music, um, and go watch my lighting video that I did previously if you want to know more about these moving heads that uh, that I use as well. So as you can see here, you know, a remote, you can, you can get them to bounce the sound and you just press a button. With fog, there's a beaming effect and it looks pretty epic, but just, uh, just do watch my, my lighting video if you do care about these uh, and want to see a bit more detail on them. So let me park those lights back up. Um, Got some more lighting. This was provided by Govi. Uh, they, want, they, they, they had asked me to do a quick review video on my TikTok, and, and I did, and I'm really, really liking them. They're not, they're not particularly expensive. There's many different ways that you can set that up. By the way, guys, one of my videos on uh, went viral with the NHL, which actually started following me on TikTok. How, how incredible is that? Um, so here's the Budweiser, Budweiser goalie light, and 
if you just Google Budweiser goalie light, um, this thing come, will come up. So if you see one of my TikToks, um, I have a, the reason why it went viral is because I did, a, I, I did my own automation with it. Uh, the automation I did was I had a, a vibration sensor sitting underneath this that would uh, control a fog machine that would also trigger these lights to go crazy as you just saw uh, when the goalie light uh, uh, vibrates, when there's, a goal, when there's an actual goal. So you got to play around with the latency a little bit because not all feeds are the same. So, you know, sometimes this thing was being a, a basically a spoiler. It would actually go off well before the goal actually happened, which is very disappointing to see. Or it would come on like, you know, 10 seconds after the goal actually happened. So I, um, I stopped messing around with it uh, and when I found the exact timing of my feed and, uh, and, and that way the latency was taken care of. But um, if there's more interest, I can describe it in a more detail. It was a big bit buggy. It's slightly gimmicky, but it is really cool. So when I've watched some hockey games, and you can rig it up to work with football and some of the other games uh, as well. Works out really, really well. Uh, so let me, let me keep going here uh, to the next spot. By the way, guys, this, this ambiance, like, you know, when you stand underneath this and just see this and you take it in, it, it really feels otherworldly, uh, at least to me anyway. So uh, these are arcade one-up machines and I've talked about them before. Uh, I do have a video that I did previously describing this particular machine. I've got five, 6,000 games on it and uh, completely modded. It's running a small form factor PC. You don't need anything serious to, uh, to modify these. And um, uh, I don't have anything serious in it, like a $100, $120 PC, and it runs, it runs it beautifully. So the reason why I've got multiple arcade one-ups, guys, is it's really to stand here and recreate the feeling and the sounds and the sensations of an arcade. You know, it's a bygone era. Now, now you just kind of mostly have this in a Dave and Buster's or the odd uh, location that you might find. But these things used to be very, very prevalent. I grew up in this era completely completely taken aback by it um, I, I love this even if I don't play this all the time I like just having it on looking at it from a distance it just looks looks gorgeous so let me keep going here um, bumper pool table I think I may have talked about it I can't remember now in a previous video I'm gonna uh, actually you know what I'm gonna turn the lights back on let me just finish with some of these other cooler lighting effects this is the nano leaf I found a good spot for it. Um, you know, I'd usually theme this out, change it up if I'm watching some sports, and um, um, uh, basically coordinate with the with the colors. And another screen here. So this screen also displays what's playing inside the movie theater. Um, right now, it's uh, it's I'm no, I won't go into more detail on it uh, because I've got several videos explaining that setup. So let me go ahead and turn the lights back on. By the way, guys. The, the lighting in this place is completely automated. Not just the lighting, every device is connected. Uh, almost every device. Some, some things, there's a risk of fuse, like that uh, old uh, uh, pinball, uh, sorry, the old uh, slot machine, so I don't have that connected. But everything else uh, is. Um, one, of the, one of the videos I am most proud of, guys, is the video that I shared on this thing. There's a live game on right now and um, I control this from my phone. It is, it is fantastic. Yeah, you know, very, very easy to control. It, come, it all comes on very quickly. I won't go into much more detail than to say, I, did, I spent a lot of time doing a YouTube video um, sharing every possible detail. And I'm kind of proud to say several hundred people have now made this based off of my video. And um, they're, they're really loving it. They're modding, modifying it further um, uh, to their taste as well. So the rest of the game room, I'm not gonna show that stuff. I don't know if, I'll, the, the, I mean, it's, if I'm allowed to or not, but there's some violent things on the wall. You can kind of see it in the distance. I won't talk about it. Decent popcorn machine. And truth be told, I barely ever use this thing. Um, reason is, anytime I've made popcorn down here, uh, the whole place gets kind of smoky. I mean, it smells fantastic, but it'll get smoky. It's just really there for visuals and optics. It looks cool, and that's why it's there. I prefer to make uh, the popcorn in a, you know, I think it's called a whirly pop um, that we've got and uh, on the stove or an air popper. Uh, so this did get upgraded during COVID as well. 
Um, I had a cheaper table. You know, we play a lot. My, my dad, he comes over, he plays pretty often. So I got a better quality table um, and uh, really, really enjoying playing on this. Uh, by the way, these are, I believe they're called Stachions. And it's just a, a very, how do you say, um, authentic feel. Like, you know, when you're at the movie theaters, you, know, you, you, you normally have these things kind of blocking things off. It's just really there for visuals and I, I really enjoyed it. By the way guys, never mind about this screen. It's, this screen is from Elon Vision. It's an ambient light rejecting screen and I only have this here temporarily before I do another review video on it. It's designed for a 4K laser projector that sits underneath. Fantastic screen and um, uh, I'll be loading that uh, video at some point in the new year. So now, uh, towards the end of the video, guys, um, I just wanna, I wanna spend a few minutes talking about what I plan on doing in the theater room and what upgrades are gonna come in the next uh, week or so and into the new year, along with what's running here very, very briefly, if I may. So this is an acoustically transparent screen. As you can see, let me close this door. Um, this room is heavily treated. I won't go into every possible detail guys. I don't want to keep this video way way too long But I did do a, a review video before it's generally the same uh, same system by the way the uh, Lighting behind the screen is on at the moment Which is why you can just make out just like the whole IMAX effect you can make out the uh, the speakers in the back uh, Polk Audio RTIA 9s the plan in 2022 is to upgrade that to JTRs. I've said it here uh, that is the intent and hopefully that uh, will happen and um, the in the next week or so There's gonna be a major upgrade to the front uh, front seats You know, these are very premium and an upgrade themselves from Valencia theater seating But there is something big coming guys. So stay tuned for that um, Speaker wise I've got uh, four speakers like basically two rears Two sides. I won't go into again detail because I've done that in many in, in many of the previous uh, YouTube videos that I've shared. And in the ceiling, I've got four Dolby Atmos as well. In the seats, I've got bass shakers. All of the equipment, I won't you won't be able to make it out because it's rather dark back here. Um, it is all back here uh, in a in a cabinet. I've got several powered amps, a preprocessor, uh, another amp for the bass shakers. Nvidia Shield, etc. So these screens as well, guys, uh, completely automated, pulling the latest movie posters off of IMDb, some genres that I like, um, you know, they'll, they'll repeat those videos as well. Everything comes on, like I said, everything sitting on smart switches comes on rather quickly. Uh, and, uh, and it's completely touchless. So I, I control them. As you can see in a lot of my videos on Instagram, YouTube, uh, sorry, Instagram and, and on uh, TikTok, I share quite a lot of content using these in many, many different ways. And um, it, it is, it is surreal. It is honestly surreal. And I am, and I am for sure convinced a lot of my content goes viral because of the way I use this and I, and I film with it. Um, so if you want more details on this, guys, uh, do comment below and I'll, I'll be sharing some more Even more detail on how the automation works um, If there is some interest like basically on the big screen you hit play and then what ends up happening here as I've demonstrated in those previous videos It displays the movie poster what's playing along with the runtime it dims very low to almost black So it's just barely visible that one turns off all these lights turn off all these gimmicks and uh, Turn off as well. By the way, if you guys are wondering what the heck's going on with these lights? Well, what's the point of having these? There is no point. Um, during COVID, I had serious cabin fever and I missed going to the arenas or stadiums to watch uh, live games. And I wanted to be able to watch live games and have some 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 ambiance where some there's some craziness happening on the side as well. That's essentially why <laughs> I've got this. I took a DMX controller and I program them to do a particular chase and uh, so that they don't actually hit you in the face. And it, uh, guys, it, it does add, it's very gimmicky, but it adds an, uh, another whole level of uh, sensation, if you will, as you're watching. Okay, so I mentioned upgrades for 2022. 
the front row is getting a serious upgrade and you'll you'll see a, a, a video on that uh, very very soon and also guys I am getting a serious serious upgrade I have my old projector back up if you guys recall I had the JVC NX5 for a long uh, for, for a long time and then I got rid of it and looking to plan on getting the JVC lasers um, anyway uh, I won't disclose what's going on and what projector I'm getting, but stay tuned. It is coming very, very soon. Check out my Instagram because I'm going to be sharing, sharing some uh, sneak peeks over there. Then I'll be doing a review video on it. Uh, there's my Optoma UHD 65. Serves, it's, it continues to serve me very, very well for several years. Uh, so, so guys, uh, now is a good time to subscribe because um, I want to also go through additional um, things that I'm gonna be doing video wise and explaining some of the do-it-yourself uh, types of things that I've got set up here please do comment below on specifics that you guys want to hear about in a lot more detail kind of like my ticker video so let me just go into this room so guys this is a future project I want to finish this uh, there's a lot of space here that's completely wasted uh, we're giving it some more thoughts so 2022 is we're gonna look to upgrade all of this and finish this room finally. But the reason why I came in here is to show you guys how my entire network at home is currently running. So I don't wanna turn the network monitor on because all my IPs and stuff like that might be displayed and I wanna keep that private. So what's, uh, let me explain briefly what's going on here guys before uh, I make this too long. And I'm gonna do a dedicated video just on network if there is enough interest. So make sure you comment below. So let me, let me explain to you what's going on here. I upgraded everything uh, not that long ago. Um, and the reason was my backyard got hit by lightning. I had a serious gaming router, so I thought this was pretty awesome. It's from Asus, uh, you know, to spend a lot of money on it. And I'm thinking my internet and everything's gonna be so amazing. But uh, guess what, guys? Got hit by lightning in the back. Several of my unmanaged switches died. All of the ports on this thing died. And thankfully, no other electronics died. It was just these things. So I'm like, okay, a buddy of mine's like, you got to think about the network. You know, with uh, with all of the craziness that goes on, hacking that goes on, uh, you gotta you gotta think about a prosumer level uh, upgrade. So what I mean by that is, guys, being a this is all, in my opinion, fairly gimmicky. You know, this is just all for looks. It's not really necessarily for design. And uh, you know, you look at this and it evokes some emotion. Like, oh my God, this will be amazing. My internet will be blazing all the time. Uh, but that's not the case. This thing is an access point. It's a switch. It's a router. It's just doing too many things. It's okay at all of them. It's not particularly great at any one thing. So that is why I completely redid my network. So here's what's going on. Here's, here's the internet coming in from the ISP. I've got, I've got a gigabit connection. This is in bridge mode. And this is connected to an i3 fanless PC. That's only 15 watts. It doesn't take like a whole lot of power, but amazing processing. It is my dedicated firewall running PFSense. And you can Google all of that and I can do a detailed video if there's enough interest. Um, and um, super fast routing as well. And then this is then connected to my managed switch that you see here. So anything that's a bandwidth hog is connected to uh, via ethernet. Uh, directly and I've got VLAN set up you know the internet of things my house has gotten out of control I've got 164 connected devices at last count and uh, dedicated VLAN so that the, the network stays secure and I've got an access point on every floor so this is a controller for the access points and I'll show you guys that uh, briefly once I go outside this this controller does a seamless fast roaming handoff uh, to to connected de uh, devices as you roam the house and uh, in my opinion better than a mesh uh, system I've got PoE running to access points that so there's an access point on each floor and there's a seamless handoff uh, as you roam around the house and then everything's connected to a UPS so that the internet stays up like you know if there's a blip in the power and my router goes down and then uh, I've lost connectivity for a few minutes doesn't happen anymore because the UPS uh, keeps everything powered including the the PoE uh, access point. So let me show you guys that uh, and once I back out. You know several servers uh, for redundancy, a NAS server, uh, got about 40 terabytes uh, of storage in it and, uh, and that kind of rounds out uh, everything uh, here. So let me head back outside.
Okay, so back outside, here's one of the access points. I've got one on each floor. It's power over ethernet. If you don't know what that means, it's an ethernet cable that's connected to it that uh, gives it power. Anytime I do a speed test on any floor, I get a consistent 800, 850 megabits per second. And i um, very, very happy with the network. I knew I forgot something. It's a huge upgrade on this wall that didn't cost a whole lot. All you gotta do is Google for modern wainscoting ideas and uh, these sorts of uh, ideas and walls will come up. So truth be told, I had my contractor do it simply because he was giving me such a great price uh, that because uh, we had some previous work done upstairs and uh, he came and he did it in three hours and left. It would have taken me all weekend to probably measure things out and cut it up. And uh, I did paint it myself, but uh, anyway, if you want to bring out or do this in any other space, uh, you know, just search, like I said, modern wa wainscoting and beautiful ideas come up. So anyway, guys, my whole shtick is uh, uh, sharing some technology ideas, the home automation in the man cave game room, home theater space. And um, I, I do try and find a lot of deals, uh, you know, because, and I can afford a lot more because of the do-it-yourself projects. Again, I go back to my... Uh, my sports ticker and um, you know for a few hundred bucks I, I put that together versus paying some company 1300 bucks or thousand bucks or whatever they were asking at the time so I'll be sharing more ideas that way guys in the new year I appreciate each and every one of you so please do subscribe and um, um, uh, watch out for some new content that is coming out very very soon like I said some serious upgrades coming to the theater room and I'll be uh, sharing that uh, very, very soon. So stay safe, guys, and we'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care.